Hey, welcome everyone, my name is Nate Bonham, and I want to talk to you about my own professional philosophy. It comes from this individual, Richard Saul Warman. He educates us that we need to be better at listening. We need to aim more directly at understanding and being understood. So this is a pretty lofty goal, and what does this mean? Well, it started very early in my professional career when I was working at Game Crazy, a nationwide chain of video game specialty retail stores. I was a marketing analyst responsible for looking at gyms uh, like this one behind me. We'd put out promotions at stores, and I was responsible for understanding whether or not these were effective. What I soon and quickly learned was that our stores were not necessarily executing on the marketing plans that we had. This was problematic for me as an analyst because I need really rich and good data. But rather than blame stores, I wanted to take a really user-centered and empathetic approach. So I left the corporate office and went and worked at one of our stores for one week. I wanted to see what this process was like from our stores. I wanted to talk to our users and figure out what things were like from their perspective. So rather than thinking, oh, they're simply not executing on our plans, I instead was able to leverage this information, come back to the corporate office, and engage dialogues. What can we do today to improve the lives of our store managers tomorrow. This is incredibly effective, and in combination with some measurement design philosophy, we were able to ensure that our stores were executing, and they were much, much happier with our efforts in doing so. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Game Crazy was part of Hollywood Video, and in the threat of Netflix and Redbox, sadly went out of business, and I had to say goodbye to all these beautiful faces behind me. So where to go next? I had some background in survey methodology and marketing research and applied those to consulting. So I was able to pivot my career and start working with organizations from Nintendo of America, helping them understand what was going on with their website, to Cabela's, understanding what was going on with their stores, and believe it or not, even figuring out what was going on with Hollywood phone psychics. So these were some tremendous opportunities and a whole host of different problems to solve. As I started investigating these more deeply, I started to learn more about UX research and what this means. Thinking back to that original philosophy that I want to be uh, someone who's understanding and more easily understood, this immediately struck a chord, and that was what led me to the University of Michigan. Here, I wanted to become a Swiss Army knife of research techniques in order to address and solve problems that organizations are facing. What's going on with their users? How can we structure and include design philosophies that are actually going to be effective for those users. Since being here, I've been applying and improving my understanding of UX research techniques uh, by partnering with the Center of Education of Women for a semester-long project, leveraging usability testing, heuristic analysis, as well as their Google Analytics data in order to provide recommendations to help them improve their website, their user experience, as well as their registration processes for the big forums that they do every single year. Additionally, I completed an internship at Blizzard working in their corporate applications department. Their aim was to improve the lives of employees that are working at Blizzard. Um, so in part of that department, I was engaged in card sorting activities, doing survey analysis, and creating wireframes, leveraging those as research tools so that the corporate applications team could learn how to make tools that would improve the lives of Blizzard employees. So that's me. I'm uh, Nate Bonham, graduating with my master's degree from the University of Michigan School of Information. I'm looking for full-time opportunities in UX research and product management. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Nate.